especially for dura mater, for the brain tissue, it will give some reflections or form some reflections for dividing some structures. Like here, we are having for separating two sides of brain hemisphere into two sections. So here I have Falk's cerebri. So between cerebellum and the brain tissue that you may find, tentorium cerebelli. And here I, I have also for two hemisphere of the cerebellum. Let's go and find Falk's cerebelli. So for the cavernous sinus, it's covered with a tissue which is formed by the dura mater. It is called as diaphragma cella. Only the stalk or infundibulum of the hypophysis gland it pierces the diaphragma cella. Like you see here, for two borders laterally. By means of Menix, you know that spinal cord and the brain tissue will be covered by three layers of Menix or coverage tissue. So for spinal cord, let's make it just a little bit differentiate or try to differentiate like dura, arachnoid, the second layer, and the pia that you can't see by your eyes. And here I have dura mater, sup dura space, like arachnoid, sup arachnoid space, which will contain CSF. And here I have pia. So you may find here also some other ligaments which will stabilize us here, the cavity, like ligamentum flava. And here I have also the posterior longitudinal ligament, which you can find in the posterior surface of body of the vertebrate.